Hey guys, Blue here, welcome back to some more episodes of Sonic Lost World for the PC. Okay, so this time, we have another mod, and we have another mod, so we have two mods in the same video. We have Dreamcast Sonic, made by Frank Smash. It's nice seeing the Sonic Adventure model, and since, you know, last time... Oh, damn it, what the hell? Okay, well... For some reason, the Dreamcast Sonic model seems to be messing around with the, uh... With this, uh, the fo the Womps Fortress mod. But anyway, guys, this is this is Dreamcast Sonic, so it's fun seeing you know Sonic running around in this kind of model because it's been such a long time since that's actually happened. And you know, I actually recently played Sonic Adventure, and it's like it's nice seeing this model. You know, nice seeing how Sonic got his beginnings in 3D. But anyway, guys, so um, it's nice seeing this because you know last time I did have the Sonic R model, but this time I actually have the um. I'm having the Sonic Adventure model, because why not? Why not show off the old models Sonic had in in sort of 64-bit old stages? So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is Womp's Fortress from Super Mario 64. And I think this guy is going to be making a lot more of these Super Mario 64 stages. I really hope so, because, you know, so because Super Mario 64 is one of my favorite Mario games of all time really so it's really nice to see if it would be really nice to see if he made any other any other stages uh, based off the game so you know it's nice seeing Sonic running around in these kind of environments really although, although this isn't really water at least I don't think so yeah it doesn't make any footsteps of water it's just kind of like there it's just kind of like has the texture of water but not even it's just kind of like blue blue ground <laughs> That's one thing about um, Sonic Lost World is that for some reason Sonic is not allowed to enter water at all for some reason. I don't know why, but for some reason just Sonic never really enters water in the entire game at all. And you know, I'm not just saying that because you know he he doesn't really do that anymore. He doesn't really go into 3D water stages, but uh, there's not even a 2D section where he is inside water and it's kind of stupid. He doesn't really su fully submerge underwater and I have no idea why. Oh well, okay, that Eggpon's just kind of jumping, running around in that weird way, but okay, so yeah, here we go. It's nice seeing the stage, though, you know, it's just nice going back to this, and I really, I really love the, uh, j the jump ball that he has. It really reminds me of the Sonic Adventure one, it looks a whole lot better than the one, than the basic one in Sonic Lost World. I also like the running animation, too, really reminds me of the, uh, re really reminds me of the original adventure running animation. Okay, gotta be careful here, don't want to fall off. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, wait a minute. I have parkour. Why did I even try? I, have, I forget that I have parkour in these stages, and that literally it's like broken like that. Oh, damn. We can actually climb this flagpole? Oh, wait. I, I think it can do it. I can do it. Hold on. I got this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Wait, hold on. Maybe if I... Okay. Oh, wow. Really? I lost my rings. Uh, oh, and... Okay. okay, oh, I thought I died, actually. Okay. No, get up. Run up the wall. There you go. Alright, so... Wait, okay. Ah. This is one thing I don't like about Lost World. The camera. Always the camera's a major issue. Because for some reason, they, they decided for a game that allows you even more 3D control than Generations did, they still decide that camera control is something that is, n that is not necessary at all in this day and age. What the fuck? There we go. Oh, wow, really? Okay, I can't even stand on the... Okay. Well, I guess that was pointless to even try to do that, but whatever. So, let's see. We're just moving around here. Another another enemy. There you go. What else is there? Oh, yeah, there's this island. I think... I don't know what it is about this, but I feel like the stage is a little bit smaller than the original. Or maybe it's just like the... Or maybe it's just sonic inside of it that just i don't know makes the stage seem a whole lot smaller i swear the distance between like the um, this arrow thing and like that and like where that place is supposed to be it's supposed to be a whole lot like i don't know a whole lot farther apart i feel like it, it's supposed to be but oh well what am i gonna do about it i can't do anything oh man i really love parkour in this because you know with stages like this that aren't just like the tubes that Sega like basically put in as the basic kind of stage that's supposed to be used for every single stage, I just find it a whole lot better that, you know, that the parkour is actually useful, it gives you a lot of shortcuts, and can really help you skip parts of the level. 
I don't want it to be broken, of course, but you know, I feel like the parkour is in good use in terms of stages like this. Because it really gives you like a faster method of accomplishing and beating these stages. I don't know, I always found it really nice that something like that existed. That, you know, you know, the parkour is just like helping a whole lot more than it really did in Lost World. Because in Lost World, a game that advertised its parkour really didn't use it at all and it's just kind of like there and most of the time it's just kind of like a thing that's like oh wait a minute i remember you can run on walls in this game oh wait i remember you can just climb up this ledge in this game oh wait i remember there's a purpose to this other than just being a run button you know it's always like that the parkour was never really a main kind of staple thing and for some reason a game that advertised it so heavily rarely used it but anyway, let's talk about the supersonic, the supersonic transformation. Look at this model. Look at it. It's fucking awesome. Look at it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so now we're going to beat the stage. So we're just going to use Rocket, the power of the Wisps. And, yep, we're just going to launch, get launched up. I really like the use of the Wisps in this, uh, in this game. Now, because, you know... A whole lot of these stage mods are like kind of out there. You can use the wisps in interesting ways of a, of like beating um, new sections of the stages. That kind of reminds me of uh, Wave Ocean a little bit, you know, um, because in Wave Ocean you had like the shadow section, but you could access that using the laser wisps. And I find that really cool that it's something like that. And there we go. Oh, you know what? I actually just realized, you know, Sonic actually did a different animation for his uh, winning. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Sonic Adventure one. It's a little bit changed, and it's a little bit—it's a little weird seeing it, but you know, it's still the same animation, kinda. It looks a little bit slow and a little bit more clunky, but you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna do one more fast run to the stage, and then I—and then I'm basically gonna be done with this video. I just want to show off just how broken the parkour can really be, and just like how fast things can be accessed like this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I guess I do need rocket. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. And, uh... Damn, Sonic flies up really high in this game. <laughs> Okay, now we're just gonna land. Where is it? Ugh, the draw distance is not... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Literally, the draw distance was not helping. I was like, where where the hell is it? It just pops up. Okay. And there we go, guys. Okay, well, hopefully we can see the animation again. I want to see that. There you go. See, it's basically the Sonic Adventure rank animation. Okay, guys. Anyway, that's basically it for this video. I can't really show off anything else. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment. If you're new here, want to subscribe. All the content creators' channel links will be in the description below. And until next time, see ya.